The first step in the pouring process is to determine the amount of concrete you'll need. Reward offers calculation charts and our distributors can provide field assistance with initial projects. Walls are typically poured in four to five foot lifts, all in one pour. During and after the pour, concrete is consolidated as necessary. And the R-Base wall bracing system is adjusted to ensure the walls are properly aligned before the concrete cures. For second and third floor applications, once the flooring system is in place, the stacking process is repeated for the next level. The most common method of installing floor systems when building with ICFs is to attach a rim joist or ledger board. In addition to traditional anchor bolts, there are a number of ways to install ledger boards or rim joists onto an ICF wall. There are also numerous ledger connection systems designed for this application. In this system, the principle is based around embedding heavy gauge steel fasteners into the ICF to provide structural surface plates for mounting either a wood or steel ledger. Fasteners are properly spaced and cut into the forms to form a flush mounting plate. After the wall is poured, the fastening plate is structurally anchored into the concrete and ready for bracket hardware and the installation of the ledger board. Once installed, any flooring system can be used, including floor trusses, TGIs, and conventional lumber joists. 